<clears throat> hey you guys welcome back to the cosmic royal family how are you guys doing it's me mystic beauty so let's go ahead and get into another video for you guys another channel message <clears throat> if you saw this video if you clicked on it this was by no chance of coincidence okay this was meant for you guys all right so if you guys have been working hard, I mean working really hard, okay? Um, a lot of you guys could have been in a space where it seemed like you was just working hard, just kind of spinning your wheels, like nothing was happening for real. Like this is literally working your fingers to the bone, up all night working, working overtime. Just I'm hearing extra labor, like whatever you was doing, like toll and labor means you was, you was putting in the hours, right? And I'm, I'm, I'm hearing that like nothing was happening. Nothing was happening for a while. It seemed like you would work hard and you would literally stay at the same spot. Like I, I'm not, I can't really explain it. It's almost like you was doing overtime to still bring home the same amount of money, like which was wow. Like that's wow. Okay. What you guys don't see coming on the distant horizon is great fortune. So in, in the distant horizon, okay. In the future, something that you guys have been working on, all your hard work is about to pay off. You have a lot of money that's coming in. You have great fortune, blessings, opportunities that's coming in. Look at that, unexpected income. There it is. The universe is about to give you a overpayment, okay? They about to like overpay you. I ain't gonna say overpay, but you know what I'm trying to say. You're about to get more than you expected. You're about to get more than you expected. They're saying that it's been a long journey, yeah, it's been a long journey, y'all. But you look, it looked like you're you're about to become the wealthy man. Okay? You're about to become the wealthy man or the wealthy woman. You're about to be a wealthy person. Okay, if you're a man, you're about to be wealthy, bud. Okay? Um, it's been a long journey. It's been a long time coming, a lot of hard work, a lot of long sleepless nights. You know, maybe you guys could have been like focusing on the project for a while you stopped you started a new project like it's like you just kept running through ideas nothing was ever working out for you something is going to work out for you yeah i don't think you're going to see this coming like it's going to be one thing that you're going to do and you're literally not even going to expect it to blow up and it's going to blow up look privileged lady yeah you got the wealthy man and the privileged lady and you got sudden wealth. So it doesn't even matter if you a man or a woman. Okay. You about to be very blessed and highly favored as far as your finances. Your cup is about to run over. You're not going to have to check your bank account for nothing. You're just going to be able to slide your card. <clears throat> I heard it's all there. Yeah. This is a gift from the universe. Just literally out the blue for you guys. Hmm. Okay, so tell me more for the collective. What else do they need to know? What else do they need to know? Yeah, I'm hearing like no longer your concern. They don't want you to be concerned with like poverty, energy of poverty, like energy of lack, not having. Maybe you guys could be, could have been for a while like worried about like how are you going to pay your bills? Where is this next money going to come from? Like how are you guys going to make ends meet? How are you going to get your rent paid? How are you going to like pay all of your bills and buy groceries, take care of your kids or something like that. They don't want you guys to be concerned about anything. Whatever this is, it's going to take you out the energy of being concerned. You're not going to be concerned. Okay. You're not going to have to worry. You know, a lot of you guys could have been in an energy of despair for a little while. And when you get this message in from the universe, some of y'all, you're going to get this message in the spirit first, right? Like this is going to be revealed to you. This is literally a message from the higher ups letting you know that you're about to win big. Okay. You about to hit the jackpot. And I don't mean like <clears throat> where for some of y'all, maybe literally like if you, if you gamble, you probably about to win, you know, or if you buy lottery tickets or you've been led to go buy a lottery ticket, you're probably going to win. Others, you guys, you know, this could be in an area of business or You're just not going to be expecting this. You're not going to be expecting this energy at all. This is going to be totally, totally left field. All right. 
um, courtship is in reverse. Official person is in reverse. So you all, you guys also um, ended something with someone who is unofficial. This person is not held in high honor. Okay, they could have fell from grace in your eyes. This person could have, yeah, lovers in reverse. Yeah, you don't, you don't view this person the same way no more. You used to hold this person in high honor. Why does it seem like it's not focusing? Okay, you used to hold this person in high honor collective. Not anymore. There was like some type of love that was lost. Official person, this person kind of lost their ranking or something. They fell from grace. And this could also just be like respect. Like you don't respect this person no more. You used to have so much respect and like, you know, adoration for this person. You don't have this for this individual anymore. This person could be in an energy of poverty right now. I feel like they're in poverty. They're, they're, they're expecting you to return. If this is not financial poverty, this is just overall feeling abandoned, orphaned. Expecting you guys to return back to them. I don't see you doing that though. Yeah, I don't, I don't see you returning back to this person. Tell me about this little orphan boy here. Tell me about this person. They could have once left you guys in this energy, made you feel abandoned, alone. Clarify official person in reverse. Possibilities. Free-spirited. Oh, this person, they were very free-spirited. They were a risk taker. They are now in a, some type of emotional storm. This person is in turmoil. Spirit is saying they're kind of coming off like emotionally unstable. They're very affected by the separation. Yeah, pain. Oh, this person is very affected by the separation, y'all. Okay? Very, very. All right? They're in pain. Hmm. This person is also in some type of mental, emotional conflict. Yeah, because <clears throat> you, know, you no longer view... You and them as being compatible anymore. You used to think that this was your person. And you thought that you guys were so compatible. But this person's immaturity forced you to release them. Yeah, I feel like for a little while your judgment could have been clouded though for real. Something about this person's energy was distorted. They, they casted a lot of illusions, okay? You never knew what to believe with this person. They showed you one thing, but they was doing something else. This person made you guys feel very imbalanced. So you guys decided to let this person go and move on with your life. Yeah. Now this person is stuck with these memories. Reminiscing over what y'all had, dwelling on the past, you know? Hmm. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Yeah, y'all walked away from this person. Dang, y'all, this Twin Flame card would not stay in the deck. I've done three, four readings, and the Twin Flame energy keeps coming out, y'all. For some of y'all, this was your counterpart. Yeah, who you were supposed to build, build some type of foundation with this person. You guys were supposed to have something established with each other, for real, like a family. And this person abandoned you. They left you guys out in the cold, and this broke your heart. This shattered your heart into a million pieces. This destroyed you guys emotionally for a little while. You guys were like holding out hope that this person was going to make something right, that they were going to return to you guys. Like you were like literally trying to manifest this for real. This person remained elusive, dishonest, deceptive, and tricky with you guys. They, This person was not ever planning on telling you the truth. So what made this person tell the collective the truth? That's what I want to know. Like, I feel like they're going to try to tell you the truth, but I want to know what is going to make this person tell the collective the truth. Like, why is this person having a change of heart now? Ooh. Why is this person having a change of heart, Holy Spirit, Divine Ancestors? Twin flame energy is here again. It's almost like this person knows that you guys are twins. Why is this person having a change of heart? Dang, they concerned. What is going on? Why is this person concerned? Why is this this per the collective twin flame concerned now? Like, I feel like they're concerned because they feel like time has ran out. The number six could resonate with you guys. 33, four could resonate with you. 
This person is, is concerned that they have let too much time go by to the point where you guys have ascended out of reach. Like you guys are too far gone, I'm hearing. Yeah, that they've caused too much destruction in your life where like they did too much damage. They did too much damage. They let too much time go by. You guys have ascended way, way past this person. <clears throat> yeah, like you guys have changed. You're different now. Like you feeling yourself now, you know? You out of you out of reach. Yeah. <clears throat> they can't get through to you. They can't talk to you. You have created great distance between you and this person. You guys may be dealing with other people. Something about the community is here. This person could have been out here dealing with the community. See, that's the problem. This person changed on you first. This person was out here dealing with the community, if you know what I mean. This person had community, you know what. They changed on you first. Now, you guys have changed on them, but you didn't change in a bad way. This person kind of want to say that you changed in a bad way. No, you didn't. I heard they changed for the worse. You changed for the better. You just ascended. You're, you're, you're in your goddess energy, your godlike energy, divine feminine, divine masculine energy. Yeah. Yeah, you know who you are now. There's no coming back from that. Okay, once you ascend into your higher self, the highest version of you, once you ascend into healed masculine and feminine energy, ain't no coming back. And y'all, this person, they're angry about this. They're angry. They're in conflict with you, collective. They mad. They want to tell you off. They they mad. They, they are, they're upset that you have changed. While they remain unhealed, you've ascended while they remain heartbroken. They're the, they are the ones now that's in this heartbroken energy. They're feeling all the emotional pain that they made y'all feel collective. Yeah. Hmm. It's kind of like this person feels, <clears throat> I heard like a slap in the face. It's almost like a slap in the face to them that they are now the ones feeling everything that they made you feel. <clears throat> or it's like a slap in the face that you don't want to deal with them no more. Oh, this is somebody who feel like nobody can resist them. Okay. And normally people don't not, not want to deal with them. It's like the more y'all resist this person the more this person want to come in and give you this love offer yeah hmm why hasn't this person why is this person still so unhealed though that's why they the um official person in reverse that's why this person lost their ranking they lost their wings unexpected money this person is unhealed because they always out here chasing money for real. They went towards the situation they thought it was going to be money. Quick money. Courthouse issues. Y'all, this person could be in legal trouble really soon. Wait a minute. This person could be facing some type of legal issues trying to get some type of quick, unexpected money. That this person was letting these entities lead them. Okay, these demons going to run this person into like an early grave, right? Or just... Unexpected end is in their life. Something ended in this person's life unexpectedly. Where, whereas one point they was like getting money fast or opportunities were coming to them easily. All that ended. Y'all seen this. You saw this ending coming in this person's life because you can see beyond the veil. Yeah. You guys can see beyond the veil. Tell me more. Thief. Somebody could have stolen something from this person. Who is this thief? Clarify the thief energy. Thank you. Somebody that they were in a relationship with collective. Somebody that this person was in a relationship with stole money from them. <clears throat> stole investments from them. Opportunities from them. Yeah. Out of They did this out of jealousy and envy. This karmic did this shit. So they found out that their karmic partner, the one that they put up on the pedestal over their divine feminine or divine masculine was stealing from them behind the scenes the whole time. 
getting a little bit at a time from one account to another, one account to another, just stealing from this person. Oh, they're going to go to court about this. Your person may like have to sue this person. So this is why courthouse matters is here. Like somebody going to try to sue the other person about some money or something that came up missing or something dealing with a business. I heard fraud. This, this karmic scam this person in some type of way. They're going to go to court about it. They could be in court right now um, feuding over money, feuding over property. Who invested the most in the business and who should get this and who should get that. For some of they could actually marry this person. Yeah, legal issues. So, yeah, they're they're facing, they're going to be facing legal issues with this person. U.S. Department of, this could be like, um, I heard tax evasion or something like that. Something dealing with somebody's taxes. Some shit is catching up with this person, y'all. This may be this person's karma for how they handled themselves with the collective. You got to watch yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So somebody's in trouble with the government. Okay, this is government issues, state issues. Okay, them and this karmic could have been into some low vibrational money making schemes collective with actual money in reverse. They wasn't getting their money in a clean way, for real. Okay, could have been some scamming going on. Yeah, see, because this person was being in a, a karmic masculine out here running the streets with this Jezebel collective, falsifying documents and stuff to get money. That's exactly what they was doing. They were false falsifying documents, y'all. Lying on documents and shit to get money. And now their asses is in the court. Somebody's being somebody is being uh, summoned to court. Your person in this karmic. So if they're not fighting over actual like property and stuff like that, they're going to court because they're accusing each other or they're, somebody's trying not to get in trouble. But you know, it's some government stuff going on, you know, and this may keep this person in bondage. That's maybe that's why they hadn't talked to you. You see his mouth is covered up and messages in reverse. Cause they, this person is in some deep shit with this karmic or they feel like this karmic got them in some deep stuff, but come on, they grown. Okay. Can't nobody make you do nothing. Everybody got free will. All right. So something has this person bound up and I'm, I'm, I'm also getting an energy y'all. Thank you spirit. This karmic told this person. Okay. This Jezebel told this energy here. It's like they they put a they gag order them. If you if I find out that you speaking to the divine feminine, if you speaking to them, you talking to them, if y'all texting any type of communication, I'm gonna turn you into the government. I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that they know that you falsified some documents here. I'm gonna get you in trouble with the feds type vibe. That's kind of what I'm getting. Yeah, y'all, this is wild. Okay, it's like they literally blackmailing this person they're blackmailing them and it was easy to do it because they were operating in their south no it was so easy to do this anything to keep this person away from you that's what this is so they're telling them if i find out that you're talking to the divine feminine okay or the divine masculine if i find out you're talking to the divine collective this woman who's single sexy and successful i'm going to turn you in Okay, you're going to go to jail. You're going to end up in court. This is something dealing with the feds. Okay, I heard feds specifically. They falsifying documents. This person falsified some documents and this karmic knew about this shit. And they was they always intended. See, this is definitely some low down, dirty shit. Like you really is a. You are ain't shit individual. If you do somebody like that. Okay, you just ain't shit. It just ain't no way around it. Okay, you ain't shit. You ain't never going to be. All right. Let me pull from my Karmic Secrets deck. You guys can find these cards on my Etsy shop along with all of my other Oracle decks. I will also be uploading my, my ritual alls over there as well. All right. Tell me, what do this Jezebel got to say for herself?
Wait a minute. Let me use the other deck that's actually gonna be over there. Not my not my um proof deck. All right. What is this karmic energy? What are they hiding? What is this Jezebel hiding? Ooh. It's like they, they want to expose how this person actually get their money. But the way that they actually get their money could land them in federal prison. That's what I'm hearing. The fact that you chase them is pathetic. They still chose me and I'm not half the woman or man that you are. I would never love them the way that you do. They don't even love this person. And the fact that this yucky individual got the nerve to try to like throw in your face. Because maybe they knew at one point that, you know, you really wanted the connection with this person for real. And I'm going to tell you something. That's why they did it. That's why they did it. That's why they threw themselves at this person. That's why. Because they knew, they knew that the divine feminine wanted this person. They also knew how this person felt about the divine feminine. That's why they did that. Oh, you a Jezebel for real. Oh, you a Jezebel. Okay, you is, you's a scandalous bitch. Okay, scandalous as hell. Wow. God don't like ugly. I'm going to say that. <laughs> hmm. I can see why they love your ace so much. You're effing gorgeous inside and out, and I hate that for you. So this, this karmic is jealous. They're also very jealous of the collective. Of course they are. Even if y'all did end up together, I'm gonna, I'm never gonna let y'all live in peace. I promise you that. See, I'm telling you, this is just crazy. So they're saying like, even if you and this person end up being together, they're gonna find a way to make this person's life miserable. They may even attempt to try to make your life miserable, but good luck with that because you got all kinds of protection. They would be doing themselves an injustice, a disservice. I use spells to make them nasty and hateful towards you. Well, honestly, y'all, I wanted to say I felt like spells were being used, but it wasn't here. I should have said it anyway. It doesn't matter, though, because, you know, Jezebel's, if this wasn't actually like them, like, lighting candles and doing rituals, y'all, this person could just be giving this person some, like, low vibrational sex, you know? To keep them in bondage. I call it voodoo sex. All right. That's what I call it. Y'all know what I'm trying. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. They out here. If it's a man. How can I say this? Y'all, y'all know that new thing that these men like for women to do now. I ain't going to say it on here because I got to try to keep it, you know, at least PG-13. That's what this, that's what this Jezebel out here doing. All right. And it was like enough to like mess this person's head up. Like they couldn't think straight. Okay. Keep this person in bondage. All right. Give me another message for the collective. Thank you. They are becoming more distant and irritated with me i think all that spell work has worn off oh my god listen this jezebel know for a fact that they were being manipulative okay they could have actually been putting in spiritual work along with what they're doing in the bedroom but look like it's starting to wear off hmm thank you they claim you're not their type, but I always catch them stalking your social media. I think they're lying to me. You think? No shit, Sherlock. Of course, they're they are um, attracted to the divine feminine energy. Yeah, or the divine masculine. Of course, they are. Why wouldn't they be? All right. Why wouldn't they? Why would they not be attracted to a real goddess or a real godlike energy? All right. All right, you silly if you think that they're not. 
Just the thought of you winning and getting what you want pisses me the fuck off. Didn't I say, I know I can't give them or be to them what you can, y'all. Whatever this Jezebel did to keep this person in bondage, they did this maliciously with the intent on making sure that you can't have this person. They were so doggone jealous of you. I don't know how they found out that you guys exist and that you and this person was already like talking and stuff, but they, I don't know if they read this person's text message. They knew that you love this person. They knew that you really wanted this connection with this person. So they was like, you know what? Let me go on do some slick, foul, low vibrational, kinky, nasty, trifling, raunchy, okay, Car Carmisha ass move real fast to keep this person stuck and bound so that they won't be with the divine feminine energy. That's what they did. That's what they did. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so Holy Spirit, I just want to know, how is this backfire going to affect this Jezebel. <laughs> Bitch, because I just want to know. I could, and I just hope this just backfire just knock your whole head off. Damn, first of all, you guys have passed some type of spiritual test. Look at that. Dark magic. There it is. This doggone karmic was doing black magic. And see, you guys passed some type of spiritual test. How is this backfire going to... Ooh. Look at this shit protection y'all for some of y'all this jezebel actually slunk some magic your way but not knowing that you protect to see i'm telling you so whatever type of magic they sent to you it's gonna come back to them because it was not able to stick to you y'all for some of y'all death magic was done on you i don't know why i feel that way but i feel like this jezebel specifically did some type of dark ass baneful magic to send death to a divine feminine to like end you for good or to make sure for good that this person can't ever come back to you and i feel like because you guys have some type of sacred uh, ring of wall of fire a ring of fire around you yeah Tell me more. I'm just going to keep going. and see. How is this backfire going to affect this Jezebel? How is this backfire going to affect this Jezebel? You protect it. Look at this shit. Your kids are protected. I feel like you represent this childlike energy here. Like you have warring angels that protect you. <laughs> Any contract that this karmic put on your head, divine ended it. No. How is this how is this backfire going to affect this karmic? Yep, because this person finna come chasing you. And they're gonna have to sit back and watch this person pursue you. And there's gonna be nothing that they can do about it. Cosmic knowledge. You also you also receive protection from like these. Okay, I heard extraterrestrials or what we consider to be extraterrestrials for real. Okay, I'm going to say this. Some people may, because I heard the word fallen angel, but not in the sense that we think. Okay, you guys have like these beings, okay? They may not be fallen angels, but they are these powerful beings from different realms, different galaxies, okay? From outer space, wherever outer space leads us to, right? And they protect you. Thank you. Bad health. You guys could have said out loud, like whatever somebody sent to you, whatever they wish for you, you want to happen to them. And because you guys have protection from these powerful Egyptian gods and goddesses, these powerful Egyptian beings, this karmic is going to have health issues. Your protectors, they saw what happened. They heard what you requested. And they're going to make sure that this Jezebel experienced bad health. All right. This may actually end the life. And that would make sense because if this person sent some type of death magic your way, you know, yeah, the magician, this could be you manifesting. What is this? 
Intrusive energy stalker. Wow. Y'all think this karmic has been the intrusive energy behind the scenes. Spirit is kind of calling this person obsessed and dangerous. Okay, so clarify this magician energy here. Because somebody's trying to manifest something. What is this? So your person is in a magician energy. Trying to manifest you. Sending you messages through songs and music. You guys also need to make sure you're spending more time at your altar. As well, giving your offerings as you're told. From your ancestors. Thank you. Hmm. Someone is hoping to be promoted or someone's about to be promoted. Like, I don't think this is like actual college. Like, you're literally like a wealthy woman. Commitment. It's like you, you're, you're about to be promoted to the next level. Like, you're like, so it's like this Jezebel is going to have to watch you guys be rich. Watch you be wealthy. Watch you get be commitment be offered to you from this person. Whether you want it or not, okay? The commitment is going to be offered to you from this person. Tell me more. See, marriage. Can't make it up. You may actually end up marrying this person. This person may end up going through some type of trans... I shouldn't say transportation. <laughs> Transformation. Spiritual test failed in reverse. This person may actually end up getting themselves together. Tell me more. I just want to, like, clarify... Oh, yeah, because this person's going to, like, break free from something. Generational curse breaker. They're going to break free from some type of curse. They're going to break free from this curse, y'all. Yeah, because this person going to pray their way through it. They're going to pray their way. Like, whatever they're going through behind the scenes, this close call with this karmic is going to bring this person closer to source. This is the most that they've ever prayed in their whole life. And I feel like... You know, maybe that's why divine allowed it to happen so that they'll finally come to like humble themselves and come to God. And ultimately, they'll be able to complete this divine mission work with you. Yeah. Y'all might get a home with this person, buy a home, move in with this person. This was a major life lesson for this person. All right. And you, <laughs> both of you guys. All right. Wow. Okay, so you guys, let me see. I'm going to get some advice for you guys, and then I'm going to end this. Give me advice for the collective. I don't know why I'm, I'm being called to another deck. Let's use my Glowing Guidance Oracle deck. You guys can find these cards on my Etsy shop. I will link. I will put the link in the description box and at the top of the comment section. Thank you. David's key. I will place on his shoulder the key to the house of David. What he opens, no one can shut. What he shuts, no one can open. Isaiah 22, 22. So 2222 two, two, two may be significant. So yeah, look like you guys are about to be blessed with an opportunity here, right? A, rare, a, a sacred key. So whatever this door is that Divine is about to open up for you, nobody's going to be able to close this door up. Okay? I feel like y'all have experienced a lot of people trying to block your wins. Yeah, with victory in reverse, y'all be having people literally going out of their way to try to block your fucking blessings. This is wild. They, they do so, like little weird, subtle, behind-the-scenes things. To try to block an opportunity or stop something, stop a flow of your money. Or like if they feel like something is working out good for you, they do energetic things to try to block it or stop that shit, baby. Your grandma say they're going to put, she going to put that pistol on their ass. Okay. She got a pistol in one hand, a holy Bible in the other one. Your grandma not playing. You got a grandma who say, I'm sick of these people. Trying to block my child's blessings, doing things to hate on them, like doing things to stop you collective, 
to try to like make you not be victorious, right? If you got a business, so they do things to try to like shut your business down. You got to channel their intention, leave you nasty comments, trying to discourage you. Yeah, your grandma is finna spiritually piss the whip these people. I'm telling you. It says your grandmother's prayers still protect you, acting as a guardian from beyond. Baby, she see everything. Do you hear me? The little slick things people say and do that they think they're getting away with it because they may be behind a screen or something. Your grandma see all of that. I ain't playing. I'm not playing collective. And she's going to make sure. I'm hearing like she got a list. She's literally have a, she have a list of people who she got to make a house call to. It says her love and strength shield you, reminding you that you're never alone. Her spirit continues to watch over you, a testament of her enduring care. Period. Y'all listen. Your grandma really got a whole list of people who tried to take this opportunity from you, try to take this key from you, try to destiny swap with you, try to block your blessings, right? Who could have did things to make it easier for you, but they chose not to. Who could have spoke life and encouraged you, but chose to speak down on you and try to tear your confidence down. You know, these people who literally did not want to see you win, who did not want to see you victorious. That's one thing, but to act on this energy and try to like, do something sneaky, malicious behind the scenes to try to like ensure that a person don't win. Your grandma say she paying them a visit. She paying them a visit. She got a list. She got every name, even people that you done forgot did something to you. Your grandma and them, your ancestors have not forgotten. Even people who did little things to you and they felt like, um, oh, it's, that wasn't that bad. It ain't that big a deal. See how much, watch how much of a big a deal that they finna make this. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh wait oh my goodness that just i'm when i tell you that just really warms my spirit that just warms my spirit to see this type of justice being served like i i love when people think that they get away with they get away with shit because then nobody see them do it and i love when people who think that they can't be touched who don't believe fat me greasy okay gonna fuck around with clogged ass arteries playing with these uh spiritually protected people you crazy as hell. Fuck around and die of a heart attack playing with people who have powerful ancestors who they have who who have they have brought back are venerating their ancestors. Okay. Who are putting in that work spiritually. Great service to their bloodline. Like they're literally like the golden child of their bloodline. Baby, you crazy. Okay. Look at these. These are people who compare themselves to you collective. They karmics. You a whole chosen one. This is a busted up people sitting on bricks comparing their life to yours. Doing things and saying things hoping that you they don't see you win and that you don't win. Your grandma paying them a visit. Okay? She she done made a list and she checking it twice. And she ain't gonna let nobody slide. Ain't no If she let them slide, they gonna slide down a razor blade into a pool of alcohol. All right? So, anywho, hope you guys enjoyed this message. Let me know in the comment section down below how it resonated. Peace.